I'm Dr. Lisa Remza. I am a professor in the Department of Laboratory Medicine and Pathology in the Division of Hematopathology. There's two ways to be a doctor. You can see one patient at a time and make a profound difference to them or be involved in medical research, and you're making a series of small decisions impacting thousands to millions of patients. The goal has always been to make sure that the diagnosis is accurate. And in the end, it's a judgment call. A pathologist is making a decision based on the accumulation of data and saying, okay, this is what it is. They hand that diagnosis to the hematologist or the surgeon. So what we want to do is provide additional tools to make that more objective, quantitative, and accurate. Just in my field alone, there's been five different types of lymphoma classification, massive integration of genetic and DNA types of information, and et cetera. So the challenge of reinventing yourself and keeping up has been joyful, but, but also a lot of work. Of the patents that we've filed, most of them are around more accurate ways to diagnose lymphoma. We're very excited about one called the Lymph3CX, which is for primary mediastinal B-cell lymphoma an interesting subtype, which is difficult to diagnose, and one of the only lymphomas that's uh, more common in women. Out of the 80 types, there's only two <laughs> that are more common in women, and it's particularly prominent in young women uh, in their 30s. So uh, getting that diagnosis down accurately, we're really excited about that. That's another tests that we're offering in the lab. We were able to hone that down to expression of a panel of genes. It has implications for the type of therapy patients get, their prognosis, and uh, other things like that. And it's been used in multiple clinical trials, and we actually offer it for patients. Gone are the days where one person goes into a lab and, and comes up with something brilliant. It's, it's team research now. Things are so complex that it really takes a lot of people with different expertise. And I have found that team, and I tell people, find your colleagues, find your collaborators. Strength is in numbers. That's the way you can move forward. Well, it's really exciting for me because um, we have been working in this field of technology development uh, towards, you know, improving patient care for a very long time. And this particular award, you know, focusing on that end of the research is really exciting for us.